Now this is a meal. Good meal, I hope. Morning to you. This well, my partner. It's all right, girl. Yeah. Mister, truly, you're a saint. <laughs> yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. Hey, folks. Come on in. Now, what's going on in here? That's it for now. Bonjour, monsieur. Hi, uh, folks. I don't Good know. Morning, sir. Those Lemoyne fellows forever had their heads in the past. They won't be happy unless we face another war. Oh, it was inevitable. Good morning, ma'am. Bonjour. You sure brighten up the place? Oh, merci. Take care now, you. Yeah? Au revoir. Monsieur? Don't work too hard now. <laughs> My contributions are intellectual. Bonjour. Well, I'm going through some trials. Hey, uh, the performers asked me to come see them here. Uh, help them out with something up in Van Horn. All right, I'll let them know you're in. Curtain's just about to come up, so why don't you take a seat, then come back and see me after the show. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Welcome. 
Welcome, everyone. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Well, all right. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there exists nothing like it. Give Everywhere. Some more. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, I have determined the ticket price should be very low and the show held without a profit. To me, it's true. For it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. Yeah, I met it. these odd fellows in a tavern in some godforsaken place, entertaining cretins. They are quite a capricious bunch, presenting Miss Marjorie and her medical miracles. That's it. <laughs> Miss Marjorie's medical miracle, Bertram the Pinheaded Giant! He ain't even as smart as he looks. <laughs> but what he lacks in brain, he makes up for him wrong. <laughs> Our half-witted Hercules is as strong as a bull. He's sweet as a baby. Hell yeah! Come on up! Oh yeah! yeah get out of there! Yeah. Let's see it! <laughs> oh! Yeah. Yeah. You look like a strapping young lad! I want you to hit him. Right here, right in the bread basket. Go on, give him a real big suck! I don't know. Oh, the only do danger it. is breaking your arm. What are you afraid of? Ah, come, come on! on. Do it, do it! Oh, all right. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Bring out more oh. freaks! Sometimes he gets carried away. What kind of a two-bit show is this? Your freak nearly killed me. No, 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 Drop him! Hey, ha -ha. God damn. Ladies and gentlemen, I, Magnifico the Magnificent, am a master of apparition! Oh, How about that? And dissipation! And even the art of <laughs> Transfiguration! <laughs> All right. Oof! What the hell is I that? have mastered hypnosis, telekinesis, telepathy, and escapology. And now, for my next feat, I will relieve Miss Marjorie of her frock. This Doing a nasty little pervert. What? Damn it! We were gonna give them a show. You're not like that. You're not. I Me. give up. <laughs> Amateurs. <laughs> oh. 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 Go follow your brother. Oh. 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 Oh.
Quite something. Yeah, I gotta go deal with this. Oh, there's something here for you. Oh, good luck. These novelty acts. Don't get this with dancing girls. A place in the world. He was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him. I bathed him. I shaved him from head to toe. He is truly a wonder to behold. Presenting Benjamin Morning, sir. How do you do? The mayor has been given so in board. Come on, folks. Excuse me. All aboard. Please begin board. Morning to you, sir. As well as can be expected. This way. Come on. If you're about it, Chaser, take a poster. If you're anything else, take a seat. Waffle. I might be. Or I might just want to hang his poster up on my wall. Yeah, they're a bad lot, the Lamont Raiders. Stupid fellas won't leave good enough alone. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of private militias, you know. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of all of us. Don't tell them I said that. The bounty. Why are you making this feller someone else's problem? We, sir, are an urban police force. And the Raiders are, well, mostly a rural nuisance. My men simply are not suited for this kind of work. This feller in particular, Wofford, ain't it? Why him? You cut off the head, the body dies. That's the hypothesis, at least. We shall see if it can be demonstrated with the Lamont Raiders. If the bounties this. for this whole outfit, you should have made it more. That's all. I'll get after them. Remember, they forfeited their right
there, girl. Okay then. Come on, girl. Yeah. There we go. 